guys so I just wanted to give you a little update and show you what our house is looking like one week after my family has left so it's today is Saturday my family left um, a week ago tomorrow and I just want to show you what Anthony and I have been up to since they have left don't judge us on the messiness of the house we are still unpacking it's a very slow process but we figure hey we're not in any rush let me just show you our house you can already hear Felix. He wants to go outside. Felix, say hi. Say hi. So anyway, here is our, um, let me get back so you can see it. This is our front hall closet. We painted it, but as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I can see it needs another round of paint because it's kind of blotchy and splotchy and all of that. And then I have taken the liberty, Felix is already going in, putting all of our, our coats in the front hall closet and then all of our winter uh, gloves and hats and different things like that. Um, Anthony also has his, which I'm not sure if we're going to keep it in here or what, but this is his like traditional um, Japanese garments that he got when he stayed in Japan for eight months. Um, if you want to hear more about that, I'm sure Anthony would love to do a video um, telling you more about how he got it and what, what's, what they're for and what they're used for and different things like that. Right now we're just putting our shoes on the floor um, because we're not, I don't know, maybe we'll put them in the front hall closet, I'm really not sure. Felix is going to join us, he's my little shadow, he follows me everywhere. So here is the front hall living room and this used to be covered with boxes. Um, we've gotten really good. Um, there's only a couple left and really the only ones that are left are stuff that goes in the living room, which is um, one of the last rooms we still have to do. We still have to do the living room and a little bit of the kitchen and the uh, study. So, and Felix is up here. If you'll see, which I, I probably showed you this before, but again, there used to be like wooden columns uh, that would to connect from the top to the bottom where Felix is at right now. We took him out. I love it. It just feels so much more up open. They used to be right here too. That's our doorbell. Uh, you should go up here. We just haven't put it back on yet. So anyway, this is just trash. Yesterday I was putting together bar stools, so this is just the trash coming from that. And then here's all of our boxes like broken down. I've just been using this couch to put like my work and my backpacks and everything. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it or what. But anyway, yeah, this is just the last kind of stuff that we have. We have like this little shelving unit, which I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with that, but we'll figure it out. You can notice like we haven't done anything, like put anything on the walls yet. That's probably last. Um, we're really focusing on just trying to unpack. <laughs> so let me take you into the dining room. I don't know if we've done much since then. Um, so this is our dining room. Felix's cat condo's in there. I think we're gonna put that in the family room. We just haven't moved it yet. Um, but this is just like this on here and the table is the curtain rod for this window. We, oh, we need to go get curtains. We've done our six billionth run to Lowe's yesterday and we got hinges because we still didn't have enough. We got a power drill because Anthony's never had one before and we desperately need it. And uh, some more contact paper and just different stuff like that. As you can see, Felix loves his cat condo. Don't you, Felix? Felix? <laughs> he just loves it. Felix is loving all of these windows. We have plenty of squirrels and um, birds for him to look at. You probably can't see any right now, but this is our backyard. Like, isn't it so pretty? I just think it's beautiful. So, hi Felix. Say hi to YouTube. Felix, he's a little ornery. He does these silent meows where he'll meow, but no sound will come out. Does your cat do that? If you have a cat, I just, I've never seen a cat that does it that often, but we love him and He's just, there's always something new with him. Going into our kitchen, we've made a lot of progress, I feel like. We have like just different stuff um, on our fridge. I was really bummed because the front of our fridge right here, it, um, it's not magnetic. Only the sides are magnetic. 
which I kind of feel like, oh, bummer. Anthony was like, good. I didn't like seeing all that stuff on there anyway. But so this is like our list of everything that we eventually want to do to the house. And honestly, there's probably a billion more things that we want to do as well that will add to it. This is just like we are still working on it. Um, again, exclude the mess. We're just working on all of this. Um, Felix, you shouldn't be on the counter. Bad. Go. Oh. Felix thinks he owns the house. So anyway, um, but we have like, we unpacked like our blender, my KitchenAid mixer, our coffee machine, our can opener. Um, Anthony has been working over here and getting everything in the drawers. This is his project that he did last night. Don't you think he did really good? We just screwed in some hooks and now when we're cooking, all we have to do is just reach up and grab them. So I think it's gonna be awesome. Like here, we're just storing all of our food. Same with up here. Um, and in the drawers, he's put away pots and pans and different things like that. So we're making progress, but I think we still have a lot to go. <laughs> so um, going into the family room, we need to figure this out, especially because we're having uh, cable and internet come tomorrow. So we should probably have our TV set up. But this is what I was working on yesterday. This is all the stuff for the bar stools. And I've already made four of them. They're really cute. Like just, they're really easy to put together, which is saying something because I am terrible at putting things together. I usually always have Anthony do it, but I was proud of myself when I actually did it, except Anthony had helped me at the very end, but whatever. And we got six. I've put four of them together. The last two, the packaging didn't come with the tools to put them together. So like, like all the screws and stuff, like it just wasn't included in the packaging. We got it from Amazon's. My mom got it for me for my birthday. We are trying to contact Amazon to see if we can get them to send us a new like set of screws, but I don't know. It's just frustrating. I wish I could just get it done. This is our living room right now we're really not sure what to do with this space because we that's our tv stand and that's our tv it's still in the box the cable is on that side but we don't want to block the window so we're really not sure i mean we have our couch on this side but it's like do we put it way back there so the window's still open but then you got to push the couch way back so then there's this whole space right here i'm really not sure what we're gonna do i've kind of been waiting on anthony to tell me what he wants we haven't really done anything different to the backyard except we put out our chairs and our table. These, my siblings got them for me for my birthday. Let me show you. Isn't our backyard just beautiful? Like, look at this beautiful tree. Like, it's huge. And like, all of this is ours. Obviously, we need to mow. We don't have a mower, so that's a problem. <laughs> um, but eventually, I want to like put a fence, like a fence like that back there so that when we have a dog and Felix can roam. This is what my siblings got me for my birthday. They're lounge chairs so I can um, lay out and get a tan and my sister wanted to get two so that she could lay out too. So that was really really nice of them, really kind. Um, I haven't had a chance to do that yet because I've just been so busy working on the house. Look at Felix. He is so not happy. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's so not happy that he's on outside. Let me go back inside the house. And I was pretty proud because I have started parking my car in the garage. So I'm like, woo -hoo. Anthony has not. He is scared that his car is too wide, which I'm like, mm, I don't think so. So anyway, that's our nothing really special about the garage. We're really not sure what to do with this closet. So the people beforehand were using it as a pantry, but we're using that as a pantry. So we're kind of like, Anthony's like, I don't know. Cause if it, like, it's hard to show you guys, but this is around the corner. Like it's far away from the kitchen. If you're in the kitchen, you just want to grab it right there. You don't want to come all around the corner and do this. So we, Anthony was maybe playing around with like like knocking out that wall and making the bathroom bigger because as you can see, this bathroom is super tiny and we have to stack toilet paper on the back of the toilet seat because there's just no room for it. So what do you think, Felix? He doesn't know what to think. The basement, I don't think we've really done anything with it since I last showed you. I'll take you down here just so you can see, but. Um, we haven't done anything. Anthony needs to set up like his Xbox and the TV, um, the couch. We just need to fix that. 
Um, again, we need to paint these walls. It's a really ugly yellow. Other than that, like we haven't even um, plugged in our washer and dryer, um, which we really need to do because I need to do laundry. I did put away, like it's really nice that we have this little cabinets because I did put away all of our laundry stuff, like our, you know, detergent. We love these Tide Pods, they're amazing. Um, these little beads that make everything smell good. And then in here, I just did like dryer sheets and then um, these are a must when you have a black cat. We've just been storing all of our extra paint uh, in the crawl space, uh, you can see one of the doors is on the ground. Hmm, wonder who did that? That would be my brother Patrick, who I can't blame him because when I first came and saw the house, I did the same thing. So these doors are on like a railing and you just pull them and they slide back and forth. Well, it doesn't really make sense to do that. So everybody just thinks you just have to grab it and lift up. Well, that's what he did and it came off the railing and now it's on the ground and I just haven't put it back. Felix loves to crawl space. Um, I've never seen so many spiders in my life in this house. I'm kind of over it, but uh, yesterday there was a huge spider. Anthony um, had to get a shoe and like, it was like as big as a nickel, it was huge. Anthony had to stomp it out with a shoe and then he's like, okay, you can clean it up now. So I think I showed you the main floor. Let me go and show you upstairs and what we've been doing. Oh, I also wanted to show you, so, Another thing for my birthday, my siblings got me uh, and Anthony potted plants. We have five of them um, and I've been watering them every day. I feel very proud of myself. I've never really, I had a plant once that my mom got me and it died. So I hope I can do these better, but they're really cute. They just bring some charm to the house. So up here, we really haven't done much with these bedrooms. Again, this is the bedroom that Allison's going to be in. Um, so we've kind of left it pretty blank. There is a TV, we need to get a TV stand for that. And then this bookcase, I just love it. It's so tall, so cute. We still have a lot of door handles that we need to put on different doors. I just put some um, bedding on the bed that we have in the second guest bedroom. Um, <laughs> it is kind of funny because this bed is a fold and I put queen size sheets on it. So they're a little big, but you make with what you got. I think that's really all that we've done in this bedroom. Um, we still, obviously we need to put door handles on the doors and we need to find a new light switch. If you remember this one had the go box on it. Obviously that wouldn't stay in our house because Anthony and I don't like a house. In addition to the family room, this is like the other room that we really need to work on. It's the office uh, slash future nursery, but right now we're making an office and this is like parts of the desk and I need Anthony to put it together because I have no idea how to do that. So I've just been kind of waiting on him. <laughs> this is another door that we need to put on in the linen closet. But if you can see, I put all of our blankets, all of our towels in it. I uh, We have a ton of blankets that we've just gotten over the years. A lot of them are Cincinnati because we love Cincinnati. Um, this is our guest bathroom, which honestly Anthony and I have been using it because you'll see in a second in our in our master bathroom there's a window and we took down the blinds so we don't want everyone seeing us naked. So we've been using this for right now. I really love it because it has these little alcoves that I can put my feet on when I'm shaving, so it's really really nice. Um, but I've just been stocking like there's cabinets behind here, so I've been stocking it with stuff. Hey guys, this is our bedroom. Um, again, it's a little messy. We're just working on it. Um, we put the handles back up for the curtains, but obviously I don't think we're going to use those curtains because they are so heavy and it makes the room so dark. So there was a bar that went at the top of this that held the curtain, the curtain rod. And it's down on the floor. When we first came in the house, my whole family came, people just started taking things off the walls because we needed everything off so we could paint everything. Well, Anthony and I weren't really shown how they were taking things off the wall, so we didn't know how to think, put things back on the wall. So we've been dealing with that. <clears throat> That's why it's still on the ground. Um, here's a lot of our things that we need to hang on the walls, which we have not gotten to. A lot of our clothes are still in boxes. Um, here is my vanity. I've got like all of my perfumes, my makeup, just all that good stuff. My ring cleaner, lotion, just all of this. And that's just what I use. But like I was saying, all of our stuff is still in boxes. 
because we took down all of our shelving. Well, some of it stayed up, but a lot of our shelving we took down to paint the wall. Well, we need to put it back up because I got a lot of stuff that I need to hang. Again, I'm waiting on Anthony for that. So we left out our suitcases because we need to start packing for when we go to the Dominican Republic. And I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait. Um, so I was like, what's the point of putting these in storage if I'm just going to get it out a couple days later? That's what we're going to be taking. Um, Anthony doesn't even have a big suitcase. I do. I love these suitcases. Um, this one, it's just unique because it's plaid. You know, a lot of people at the airport have black bags and it's really hard to find them. So I got these really cute tags as a wedding gift. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but it says Mr. Mrs. and more Mrs. I just think that's so cute, especially because... Anthony usually only has one luggage and I have about a billion. Although I think for this trip, my parents are paying for it, which is really nice because if they weren't, um, Anthony and I wouldn't be going on vacation this year because we just bought a house and we're poor. Since my parents are paying for it, I think we're all gonna try to like be considerate and try to do like like two people share a, a big suitcase so that we don't have to pay so much check-in fees. That actually kind of works out for us because we have one big suitcase and then two carry-ons. We're flying Delta. We love Delta. So with Delta, you ha you can have uh, as many carry-ons as you want. You just have to pay for it. And then you can have one, uh, one carry-on and then one personal item, which is like a backpack or a purse or something. So I think Anthony and I will be fine. The problem with me is I, I always pack way too, way more than I should because I'm like, well, what if, what if I suddenly get cold? I need jeans and a sweatshirt. Well, what if it's super hot? Then I need, you know, everything else. Well, what if it's raining a bunch? I need my rain jacket. And, uh, you can ask Anthony, he just rolls his eyes all the time. So, uh, I think sharing one big suitcase will be good for me because it'll cut back on, uh, what I pack. We're going to the Dominican Republic, which it's super hot there right now, so I don't think I need to pack anything cold. But knowing me, I probably will pack one sweatshirt just in case. I just, I can never, what if it's cold at night, you know? Sorry, I just got on this tangent. I'm showing you at my house, like, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if we're gonna hang these back on the wall or if we are going to get new ones from Lowe's. I really, I'm, I'm really not sure. So, and then in here, in this bathroom, uh, we really just use this to like brush our teeth and straighten our hair. Um, that's just paint, don't judge. And again, like I've just been putting like bathroom stuff all in here. Um, here's the window with no curtain on it and there's the shower and there's the toilet. So again, that's really why we aren't using this a lot because um, we don't want people seeing us, but it's really cute. It's got this really nice view of the front of our house and the front yard and the street. I just wanted to give you guys a little update and show you like how we're doing progress wise. Um, I'm hoping to do another update of the house once we get everything like unpacked and put away. I really wanted to make like a video like, oh, we're done forever, but I don't think that's going to happen living in a house. Um, there's always going to be changes and updates to be made, which is okay. It's just a little overwhelming, especially if you've never owned a house before. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing and uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope to make a new update soon. Um, the next couple days are going to be really exciting. Well, I mean, we have work the next couple days, but then I'm, we are going back to um, where we grew up and we have a wedding that I'm in. One of my uh, friends is getting married. And then right after that, we're going on a plane and going to the Dominican Republic for a week. So I'm really excited. I hope I can get through this week. It's going to be long, but um, I'm super excited. So I hope to film a lot of it and take you guys along. So stay tuned, subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.